Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, Bisabun here. Um, so I am recording this for the second time again because turns out my mic was not working when I recorded 14 minutes worth of a video, so that is fun. Anyways, you're going to be going over this once again. Um, if you're new here, my name is Lissabon. I love to play Eversoul. And I also have a boyfriend who so happens to love to play Eversoul. And he also has a YouTube channel. And he's, um, he finished Battlefront 16. So now he doesn't really have much to do on Eversoul. So now he decided to start a new series, a free-to-play series, where he tries to beat the game with, um, with Flynn as his main DPS and no spending money. So I will be linking his channel down in the description. I definitely recommend that you check him out, please and thank you. Also, one more thing before we get right into the video, um, we have a shared Discord community server, and it's full of ever so loving people and full of people who um, play the game, and they're awesome, amazing people, and I definitely, please, 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 please um, join us. I will be linking that down below in the description as well so without further ado we will be getting right into the aki costume and kit leaks and animation and same with erica our two new upcoming souls for this game oh yeah exciting exciting so yesterday i covered um the laundry's post about um the possible true ending Stories, costumes. Um, Valandro, sorry, I'm like totally butchering your name. Valandro, you are a goat for this. He takes his time to uh, scavenger Korean forum websites and translate every single thing, um, all these leaks for us. So thank you once again. Um, and he says, as always, leaks are prone to change. Take with a grain of salt. All right, guys. So we're gonna get right into this. So this is Aki. We already know that the, she looks like your average anime character. I guarantee you that at least every anime catcher game or anime show has a character like this. Um, a long black hair girl and a katana. So we're going to go look at her costume over here. And isn't this just the cutest? It's totally giving me like samurai. Uh, summery samurai vibes with a blue, light blue look mixed with a dark blue and then her little bolt up top. Super, super, super cute. Alright. So now we're gonna go look at the kits. Her main attack, one of her main attacks, is called Secret Sword True Moon. And it slashes through the enemy with the lowest HP with a flash light kick technique. Dealing damage equal to 240% of attack power. If the attack is a critical hit, then the damage is doubled. You know, in our Discord server, I actually saw how people were talking about Guild Boss and then Aki. And they said how Aki would be good for Guild Boss, I think. Or was it just bosses? I'm not sure. But if you guys agree with that, then make sure to go for her banner. Because Guild Boss is coming up next. Um, It's coming up next week, I believe. Right? I don't know next week anyways her sub move is throwing a small sword at the furthest enemy dealing damage equal to 170 percent of attack power and stunning them for two seconds all right awesome we're gonna go into one of her other subs cuts the nearest enemy with a sword with maximum rotational power dealing damage equal to 140 percent of attack power and if the attack is a critical hit, double damage is dealt. And as you level her up, it goes, it changes from 155% and then to 170%. So this is her passive. Um, the magic sword sharpness is maximized. And when the battle begins, a special buff effect that increases a critical hit rate by 20% is obtained. And as you keep going on and leveling her up, it changes to 25% and then it increases to a full 30%. Not too shabby, guys. Last but not least, this is her ultimate. As the sword leads continuously attacks the enemy with the lowest HP, dealing damage equal to 320% of attack power. If the attack is a critical hit, the damage is doubled. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Ugh. 
So as you keep leveling her up, it can increase from 350% and then up to 380%. So that was her leaked costume and kit. Holy, look at these tabs, guys. Now we're going to go into the voice lines and animation leaks. Alright. So this is her, her voice lines. That's what her voice sounds like, guys. Now we're just going to skip to the ultimate skills. I really, 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 really like this ultimate animation right here. Her on top of the Shinto Shrine and then all that is just so cool. Her slicing through the, through the enemy with her sword. Sheesh. Alright, if she had a third sword. If she had one more sword, that would have made me give in and made, her, made me pull for her. Because three sword style by Zoro. If you guys haven't watched One Piece, I definitely recommend it. It's really good. I know that... Um, one Piece is a long anime, but it's definitely worth it. Oh my god, I'm getting off track. Sorry, Susan. Okay, we're gonna play it. Alright, we're gonna play this one more time, and then we're gonna go check out Aki's. No, Erica's. Sorry, brain fart. We're gonna go check out Erica's leaks and everything. Sheesh. She just needs one more sword in her mouth, guys. It would have been perfect. So that was Aki's. Now we're going to switch over to Erica, Erica's costume and kit leaks. Remember to take this with a grain of salt, guys. All leaks are prone to changes. So this is how she looks like. Um, there we go. That's how we how she looks like. I love the heart. The heart in her hair is actually it's so cute. So, so, so cute. I don't really like this outfit, though, because the wings are kind of hidden, you know? I really like Naya's um Naya's appearance. Naya's probably like my favorite one of all characters. Um, because of the wings simply. Like I love fairies, you know. And then here we're gonna go into your costume. I really like her costume. It's giving off like a, a cute little nurse vibes, you know? But I feel like they could have just done a little bit more details with the dress because it still feels like it's missing something. But the wings I adore. Look at the wings. And then the little clip in her hair. Oh goodness, it's so cute. And then we're just going to get a little closer look at her face right here. She looks so cute and innocent. Oh. And then her little hair pin right here. And then her wings. Oh my gosh, I can't get enough of her wings, guys. I was actually going to pass up Erica, but I might just get her. I might. And oh my god, if you flip these, if you flip this picture over, if you rotate it, it would be like heart pigtails guys oh my goodness i love it so now we're going to get right into her kit so this is her main magnum opus or opus it throws the essence of recovery created through alchemy at an ally it recovers hp of the ally with the lowest hp and nearby allies with 200 percent of attack power and then it the additional effect is that it recovers eight additional HP equal to 120% of attack power. And the great success is it increases attack and, attack and defense by 10% for 10 seconds. Alright, you guys know what this means? Yeah, that means she's also got a poison move, guys. Which I totally just did not expect from her. Um, so right here it says she throws a, po a poison potion at the enemy dealing 160% of attack damage to the nearest target and its surroundings. Sorry guys, that was my phone. Alright guys, so now we're on her next, on her sub and obviously this is a poison move. Um, it throws a poison potion at the enemy dealing 160% of attack damage to the nearest target and its surroundings. Its additional effects is that it poisons the enemy, reducing the attack power for 8 seconds and deals 55% of damage. And, the great success, it reduces the target's defense by 10% for 8 seconds and the damage is changed, from, is changed to 180% attack power. Alright, that's really, that's nice. It reduces the target's defense. I like that. And, um, it reduces their attack power as well. I feel like that'd be... Pretty good for bosses, but I don't know. I never know what I'm saying. Alright, next sub. Giant Potion. It 
throws a huge recovery potion to an ally in danger, and it restores the HP of ally with the lowest HP by 190% of attack power. This also restores the target's mana by 1000, and it recovers HP by 40% of attack power instantly. Holy Erica. Okay, okay. Alright, so the next one, Eureka. It creates a potion with a sudden idea, and for 4 seconds, it gains a special buff effect that activates the additional effect of the skill. A great success with 30% chance activates, and an additional great success effect. So last but not least, we're going to be moving on to her ultimate. Let's see what this does. Ars Magna. The Philosopher's Stone that was finally created. It recovers HP of all allies by 280% of attack and increases attack and defense by 20% for 10 seconds. Oh my goodness. I think I like this ultimate, guys. I like it. I like it. I like what I see. So we're going to move on to her animations. All right. Let's see what they have to offer us. I like this animation. I think out of the two that is shown to us, I think this animation is really cute. But then again, I feel like it's just mid. I feel like it's just a little bit... It's missing something. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Let's replay it a few more times. Get another look at it. I really like Erica though. She's really cute, innocent, baby face. And um, she's also a fairy and has really cute costume. So I'm really tempted to go for her just because of that. Um, so I don't know. As long as you get one of her, I guess it'll be fine. We're gonna play room. We're gonna replay it one more time, guys. What the heck? Why does it say she's blue? A rare. Alright, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching once again. That was Erica and Aki. Where is her? Okay. That was Erica and Aki. Their costume leaks, their kit leaks, and their animation leaks. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I hope it um, influenced you a little bit in a bad or good way to see if you want to go for Erica or Aki or not. Um, you could also wait until they come out just to see. But then again, um, I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. And shout out to Valandru once again for always posting these leaks. Um, and I'll be able to make content out of it. I appreciate every single one of you guys so, so much. Um, if it's not too much, please leave a like, a subscribe, and comment down below. Your opinions, your thoughts on these two, if you're going to go for them or not. Or just say anything that you feel like. I will be there to respond and read all your comments because I appreciate all of you guys so so much you guys all matter to me also please check out the links in the description i will be linking these reddit posts i will also be linking my boyfriend's channel which you should definitely check out please 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 and our discord server which i will be linking down below as well um i hope you guys have a great rest of your night or day and i appreciate you guys all so much thank you for being here thank you for existing um i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye <laughs>